Hey guys and welcome back to the Anthony Design Codes channel and today we are going to be creating this animation what you see on the screen right here is a loading animation um, we are going to be using Z stacks and we are going to be creating this shape in path um, with lines and then we're gonna trim them and rotate them and animate them and all that good stuff in this video and it is coming up so i have got my xcode project loaded here um this is just a standard swift ui project which you will see the first thing we are going to add is our two state variables and we are going to say animate animate trim path um, this is going to be false and our second state variable is going to be rotate infinite and that is also going to be false dive in to the body of this view right so to create what we was looking for which is a black background with our animation running nicely and smoothly in the center so to create our background first we need to add a z stack and we are going to give this z stack a color of dot black and we're also going to say edges ignoring dot all and as you can see now all the edges have been ignored and this is this is our safe area where this blue rectangle is showing but also here and down here is also filled with our color black now we are going to create a second z stack inside the stack here and we are now going to create our shapes with path. And this is path in. Now, this is where we are going to create our lines. So we're gonna say path, which is going to be this one. And it's going to add lines. And we're just gonna add two of those normal brackets in and we're just going to drop a couple of lines here so what we are looking to create is two boxes that feel like they are stuck together in theory and I'm going to say dot in it with we are going to go with this one our float and our first one is going to be two and one and we're going to put a comma at the end of this. Now we need eight of these. So it's two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Now I'll just bring this up here. And now we are going to just quickly edit these out. Feel free to fast forward some of the video and pause it and make sure you've got all of these markings correct if not just follow along as we go in here this is just going to make our shape one and this one's four this one is three and two one and two right so this is our shape effectively just get rid of some of these markings right now so the first thing we've got to do is trim our shapes with the animate trim bar up here that we've got and then we need to then rotate them infinitely so we're going to set up trim and we are going to say from 
and we're going to say animate path trim path is 1 over 0 0.99 and if that is not true we'll do nothing and then we are going to say animate path trim path is 1 over 0 0.99 if it does do something it's then number 1 which is this one here which will be our first kind of animation now we're going to say scale um, with a scale anchor um, it's just going to be about 50 and then we need it from the top leading okay and then we're going to add our stroke our stroke is going to be the color the actual color we are going to use um, this is color dot so I'm going to have mine as green because I think the black and green really looks good and then we're going to say line width is about 60 you could have this potentially bigger um, it's up to you as you can see it's pretty big right here as it's showing on the screen um, so yeah now we want to give this also an offset of um, on the X and on the Y and we're going to say 110 and 350 so it's lovely in the center the next thing we want to do to this shape is now animate um, so let's just make sure this is all right up here yes yes and yes and we're going to scale it yes Good okay, okay, right. So we're gonna now add our animation. We're gonna say animate with animate with ease. We're gonna say ease in and out. Um, so it kind of gives off that kind of. We wait for a second, then we want our animation to then restart. Here, just cancel that one out. Sorry. See what the problem is over here. Yeah, can't see it uh, being a problem. But let's just carry on. Let's see if they just disappear out here. Um, so I'm going to say duration is 1.5 because we don't want it to go too quick. But we want it. We don't really want it to go that slow either, as it is a loading screen. And we want this to repeat forever on an auto. And we want to say this is true. And then we're going to say on dot on up here. It's not auto corrected me, but it's alright. So on up here. And now we want to say self dot animate trim path is toggled. Okay, okay. I'm just going to drop this down. And again, just to tidy this up because it. Well, I'll switch your code is really tidy, so let's also keep our code tidy as well. And now we're just going to add our rotating animation in. Oh, my bad. Right here. Um, so this is a couple of problems, which is fine because we're going to drop these down anyway. Is that out of the stack? Where is this stack? Mm, here. This stack's here. 
Okay. I haven't missed anything so we just want to do this on a rotation of it. So we're gonna say dot degrees and we're gonna say rotate infinitely and we're gonna say zero if it hasn't rotated yet. Zero. Um if it has then start rotating it at minus three hundred and sixty degrees. And now we're gonna say scale effect is 0 0.3 which is going to make it kind of small with an anchor still putting it in the center of the view right and now we're going to animate our shape animate and we're still going to stick with the ease in out animation with a duration of keeping it the same because we don't want it to go too fast and we also want this to repeat forever with the auto which is now going to be false and we're going to say on appear we're going to say self dot rotate infinity and we're just going to say toggle Yes. Okay, so looks like all of our problems have gone. Threw me off there for a second. Um, here we go. So if we now run this, let's see what's going on. See if we do have any errors on here. No, oh, no, and there it is. That's our animation um, running smoothly. Um, so there you have it, guys. I know it was a little bit slow tutorial um, on this side because it threw me off with all those errors. Um, but yeah, this is how we uh, make our little loading animation to give. This could be at the beginning of Europe to. Um, wait a minute um, wait for your app to collect all the information it needs um, and yeah so thanks for watching guys and uh, if you like this video please like and subscribe to my channel and there will be more SwiftUI content coming in the near future as for then catch you in the next video guys